Hi everyone, in this video we will have a look at a lambda for calculating tax amount for any given income, tax bracket and corresponding tax rates. And this lambda is flexible so that we can use it for any other tax bracket or tax rates. So let's say here we have the tax bracket and tax rates for India and here we have the income of individuals. So uh, let's see how we can calculate the tax amount for each of these incomes, right? So, uh, how the tax amount is calculated? So, let's say we consider this particular income of 21,23,503. So, for the first 2.5 lakhs, the tax rate will be 0%, right? For the next 2.5 lakhs, that is the amount that is between 2.5 lakhs and 5 lakhs, the tax rate will be 5%. For uh, the next bracket, that is any income between 5 lakhs and 7.5 lakhs will be taxed at 10%. And similarly for other tax brackets as well. And if the income is greater than 15 lakhs, so uh, that difference will be taxed at 30%, right? So let's say here we have this amount and this is greater than 15 lakhs. So the uh, difference of this minus 15 lakhs, this will be taxed at 30%, right? So let's see how we can use the lambda that I have created for calculating the tax amount. So the lambda is tax calc right and there are three parameters the tax brackets the tax rates and the salary so the tax bracket is this one right we will select this particular column the tax rates are this this particular column and the salary is this particular cell right in e3 so we will close the bracket press enter and we have this amount for this particular income and uh, the tax is 15927 and you can cross check this as well, right? So uh, let's say we have to do this for all of these uh, incomes. So how we will do this? We will use again a uh, by row function. So by row and also you can use map as well. So uh, by row and our array will be this array, right? This array of incomes and uh, our function will be lambda. And let's say we denote each row by x and we will replace this e3 by x right and let's close the brackets and let's press enter and these are the tax amount for all of these incomes and also you can uh, cross check these as well so i will attach the link of this file in the description box below and what is the lambda that i have used so you can check the lambda as well from here so i will go to advanced formula editor and this is the lambda right this is small lambda again uh, uh, what what functions i have used i have used sort function let function drop v stack and sum function that is it correct so with the help of only these functions you can calculate the tax amount for any given income correct and again you can use any other tax bracket or tax rates so that is it for this video i hope uh, you would uh, like this particular lambda and please do let me know that what are your thoughts on this and any other suggestion or any other function that you would like to recommend. So you can also post that in the comment section. So thanks a lot and hope to see you in more such videos in future. Thank you.